Welcome to Lexus of Madison. My name is Sam Lancaster, Lexus Vehicle Delivery Specialist. I'm sitting behind a 2013 LX 570. I wanted to take a moment and share about 10 minutes demonstration of the interior features of this vehicle. Headlight washer. If you wish to bring your mirrors in, Or bring them out you're gonna click the switch all the way to the left mirrors you have this internal switch that is going to control the direction right now we're on the left side of the vehicle so I can move this pad up and down or left and right to move the mirrors then I'd switch it over to the right side to control the other side of the vehicle underneath these switches we have heated steering wheel which is going to be found in this leather area on the steering wheel so the steering wheel will warm up traction control off the only time you want to take traction control off is if your wheels are spinning and you're not gaining traction then you can rock the vehicle back and forth by going reverse to drive reverse to drive then you want to turn in the direction of the drive pavement when one wheel is on that drive pavement re-engage traction control and the engine will supply the power to the wheel that has traction AFS off AFS off is Mainly for this vehicle is equipped when you turn the steering wheel, the lights will follow the direction of the steering wheel. Some people like to turn that off, they have that ability to do so. And at the very last button is our tailgate release. Now, being that this vehicle does have three memory positions, you have one, two, and three, being that you can set the steering wheel position. By using this knob, by bringing the vehicle steering wheel in, out, up, or down. Your mirror, by adding the correct viewing from your seat position and your overall seat position. Once you have those three areas set, come over here to set and one till you hear the beep and that confirms that the seat, steering wheel, and mirrors are set. This wheel controls the brightness of the dash and odometer. Right now we have trip A reading at 934.2. I'm going to hold that button in to clear. 934.2. I'm going to hold the same button in, which is this one right over here. And then back to odometer. And the button looks like odometer trip. The lights on the vehicle, we have a hash mark on off, parking lights, manual lights, which I would probably use that in heavy fog or heavy downpour rain, and automatic for any other time. You have your fog lamp, your directionals, by going left, or by going up, you're going to go right, and down will go left. When you're in the auto settings, you can push the bar forward and your brights will come on. And if you want to simply flash your brights, pull this arm back and you're going to notice the little blue light just above the instrumentation panel right up here flashing because I'm holding that bar back. On the steering wheel, you have a mode button. That mode button is going to control the radio. We're on satellite music, portable player, like an iPhone, iTunes, Google Music, Pandora, iHeart, all the other um, 
players that are out there can be streamed through your Bluetooth audio, AM radio, what is that? and FM. If I want to seek to the next station, I'm going to hold this button in. Now it's 100.5. If I want to go to the next station on my preset list, I'm going to tap on the up or down button. And it takes me to satellite because that would be the next preset that I have loaded in on my radio. By holding in mode, we'll shut the radio off. These up and down arrows are also going to be used for your CD track selection. So you can go from track one, two, three, four, five by going up or going back to a previous number. If you want to fast forward for Pandora, you'd press this up arrow and then fast forward to the next track, which you have five or six skips in one hour to use. On the other side of the steering wheel, you'll see a talk switch, a display button, as well as off hook and hang up mode on the steering wheel. The DISP, which is the display, is going to show in this general area here. It says tire pressure, turn by turn navigation, it's on, it's blank. 13.5 miles per gallon after refueling current MPG in more of a graph that goes left to right cruising range 134 miles speed average speed tire position and back to tire pressure when we have our phone if you have a phone call coming in you'd want to hit this button here to have the vehicle answer the cell phone. Hang up. Now this talk switch is pretty interesting. Not only can you say in your contact list, say if you had John Wright or John Smith or John Parker, I'm just using these as examples, but if you wanted to call someone, you'd simply hit this button and say call John Smith, for example. That's all you have to do as long as John Smith is in your contact list, he will be called. Other voice commands that you can do. After the beep, say a shortcut menu command. Say help at any time for additional instructions. Find nearby Italian restaurants. Find nearby Italian restaurants. Say a number from the list. Two. Number two. To start guidance, say start guidance to see a map of the destiny. Start guidance. Start guidance. And there you'll see a couple different routes that you can choose. Right now, it's taking me down Highway 12 and then over on to another road here which I'm going to use it's University Avenue so if you want a turn list it's gonna give me all the different directions that I want to use maybe I'd like to see it more by street name than map I can choose my routes by going over here to three routes choosing preferred route alternate route or short route. I'm going to edit the route just because I don't want to go there right now. And there you have it. Last thing I want to talk about is the wiper blades. Currently we have it on off. Go down one click. It's auto. Low. And high. The back wiper is going to be timed, on, and to clean off the white wiper in the back, you hold 
all the way up. And that will clean off the back windshield. If you wish to clean off the front windshield, pull this arm towards you. And there you go. I wanted to take 10 minutes and go over some of the features. Part two, I'm gonna take another 10 minutes to go over navigation and a few other controls that I'm going to show you how to use.